Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing really great. So today's reading, this is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections. That does include Twin Flames. And we will be looking into the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's energy and also what is coming up in the next week or two. I do want to make a quick little announcement before we get started. I am doing like a little mini sale for the next week on personal readings. So that is until next Sunday, which I believe is the 17th, um, midnight Eastern time. And yeah, so you can take $10 off. That's what the sale is. It's $10 off of the basic reading and the extended reading. So that means that the extended reading instead of $80 will be 70 and the basic reading instead of 65 will be 55. Okay. So anybody who orders a reading this week, just take off that $10 from those two readings. And yeah, um, what else? Cord cutting. Anybody who's interested in cord cutting sessions, you can email me for more information or you can also check out um, a post that is in my community page. All right, and the um, price that <clears throat> is mentioned on the community page post, that's the one that still applies. Okay, so let's see. We're going to start by looking at the masculine's energy first. Get a couple of oracle cards before getting into the tarot. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it won't be everybody's situation. All right, let's see. Masculine's, what is going on? All right, we have deceit. Let's see what this is about. Um, I feel like they're becoming more and more aware of what it is that is deceitful in their lives, whether it is their own deceitful behavior to themselves, to their feminine possibly, or even deceit by others. Okay, so it's going to depend, but let's see what else we get here. Ooh, power. Yeah, I, I really feel like they're beginning to see other people deceiving them. I don't know how this relates to their feminine. Obviously, for those of you where there's a third party involved, regardless of whether it is a relationship, um, a romantic one or any other, um, this might make more sense to you, but it doesn't have to be that. It could just be any type of deceit. I will see how this relates. Let's see what else. compromise, conclusion, and regret. Okay, um, so actually I'm also getting here that for those of them where they are being deceived by others or if they are just engaging um, in interactions with people that are either a bad influence or that, I mean, everybody's responsible for their own actions, so I don't like saying that, but you guys get what I'm saying. like possibly allowing themselves to be influenced by maybe even a group of people or even just society as a whole or certain beliefs, all right? Whatever it is deceitful and is not in alignment with their own truth, they're gaining power over that because they're beginning um, to become more and more aware of that. Not only that, I feel like there's regret for having allowed whatever is deceitful in their lives um, to be happening for as long as it has and that they have compromised certain things like their feminine or going after what they want or allowing their hearts to be fully open, all right? There's regret because of that. So all of this though, it's concluding. It's concluding. So let me just put these up here. And let's get into the tarot. This regret for a lot of them, it's also the fact that they have um, ended the connection with their feminine on the 3D at least, because in the 5D, the connection is always there. All right. But for those of them who have ended the connection with you in the 3D, there's regret revolving around that because they feel like they compromised you, they compromised truth, they compromised love for something that was deceitful. 
And again, it doesn't have to be a third party necessarily. It can be, you know, just because they didn't want commitment or because they were afraid of the connection, whatever. But whatever that was, it was something that had power over them and it was deceitful to their own self. Okay, so let's see. What is going on with the masculines just in general? Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see, there's that deceit closing out. Um, they're pushing it out of their lives. They're healing a lot. Whatever it is that has been imbalanced, I feel like, you know, they might be, um, some of them might be involved in situations where, you know, they were giving more or they were giving to something, but they weren't receiving back what it is that they wanted or what it is that they deserved or, you know, whatever it is that was fair. There's something about that that was imbalanced where they're healing that, they're closing that out coming out of that deceit, not wanting anything that is um, deceitful in their lives. So yeah, I do feel like we're tapping into a specific group. So yeah, just take these messages if they resonate. Let's, let's see what's going on in their headspace concerning their feminine specifically. I feel like that one to come out. Okay, we have the Five of Wands in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so I'm getting here that if you if you were in contact, or maybe the last time you were in contact, um, there may have been some tension between the two of you. This doesn't necessarily have to be arguing, although of course it could be, but it just feels like there is tension, like something just feeling very, very uncomfortable or, or maybe not agreeing on something or, you know, being um, in contrast towards something. I feel like that's, on their end at least, it's softening. So like, let's say they were, you know, had been very, very stubborn or very, very rigid. I feel like, you know, they're looking back on that and it's like, they're softening up, feeling like, you know what, I wasn't seeing things clearly back then. Um, and this may even be recent for some of you. They're still looking back at that and feeling like, you know, the way that they had communicated was immature possibly or you know just the way that they were behaving or their attitude or just the way that they were presenting themselves so it's like now with this softer energy um this three of cups i mean that's all about wanting to make up wanting to have either i mean it can be a reconciliation but i'm getting this more as a feeling like you know wanting to be okay wanting things to be light and airy rather than having tension or conflict. So let's see what's going on with them emotionally. <clears throat> okay, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse the Four of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and I also have the Six of Swords in reverse. Um, flip over here. All right, so very clearly, the Eight of Cups in reverse, um, this could be a return, <clears throat> but it's definitely, at the very least, not being able to walk away from this emotionally. And I feel like, you know, this is something that there are realizing or for a lot of them I mean, they have already realized that they're they're just continuing to feel this um and it's like the more that they soften up here as i was talking about you know in terms of certain clashes that you may have had in the past the more that they feel like yeah you know i i, I can't turn my back to this it's not it's not done and i'm getting the same energy here with the six of swords like wanting um, 
at some point having wanted to walk away from this and find peace, but there is no finding peace when they try to leave this in the past, the connection with the feminine. And um, with the Four of Pentacles, it feels like, I mean, they're just holding on to this energy like really, really tightly. I don't see them doing much though. That's the thing here with the Seven of Pentacles being in reverse. I feel like, you know, they're kind of holding back, not really, um, Take, not really taking steps in the in the 3D just yet um, because I don't know I was gonna say something at the end of that sentence and it just like it stopped um, we'll see maybe that's my cue to clarify that so that's probably what we'll what we'll do here um, but anyway, they're holding on very tightly to this feeling of not being able to walk away from you, but then also not ready yet to really take um, certain steps in the 3D currently, okay? This doesn't mean in the near future. <clears throat> That's a different time. <laughs> okay, this is just the current energy here. Um, before we clarify, I actually feel like I want to get a couple of oracle cards for the feminines just to kind of see what's going on on that side. And then we'll continue here for the masculines to get more details. All right, let's see. For the feminines. Okay, oh, oh, okay. That's a lot. We have cornucopia, contract, and woman holding a coin. Wow, feminines, I feel like you are really going after your own um, abundance here, your own worth, your own happiness, your own fulfillment. Um, so good job. <laughs> good job. I feel like you're making a lot of decisions at the moment, but not only that, it's more of... A, finding balance within yourself and I feel like you're finding that balance both on an emotional level but also on a practical level so it's like you're figuring out how to manage your emotions and the deep feelings that you have for your masculine but then not allowing that to interfere with your everyday life your routine or you know your ability to um, manifest right it's not affecting even maybe your social interactions it's like you're you're finding that balance and this is actually very very positive so for some of you if you don't feel like you're there just yet um, maybe just hearing this message might help you to apply that or you might feel like yeah you know that is what the universe has been working on on me with all right let's see what else all right growth yeah you're definitely growing um, and I feel like you know that's in line with what I was just saying so all the hardships that you have been through or that you are currently going through, know that it is contributing to your growth, to your evolution. And that is the ultimate goal, right? That's why these relationships, these connections, they're so difficult and they're so painful. It's because the more difficult that it is and the more challenging that it is, the more that we grow once we overcome these challenges. And I feel like, you know, you're doing just that. So more from this deck okay that too okay shadow work yeah exactly what I'm talking about and reinvention <laughs> yeah exactly good job feminines um, there's a lot that you have discovered about yourself or you are discovering about yourself so for some of you it could be that even currently you're going through a little bit of a tough time although I do get for a lot of you most of this is in the past already but for others of you this definitely could be something that you are currently going through and we do go through cycles right so just when we think you know that we that, <laughs> that we've gone through you know a hard part you know and things feel better you know then it, it sometimes comes back but every time we're able to deal with it more and more efficiently 
Okay, so some of you might be going through a little bit of that, but I feel like ultimately, again, like you are reinventing yourself. You are really standing strong in your power and finding that balance, as I said, between your emotional world and your practical world. All right, um, so let's go back to the masculines and just clarify a little bit. And then I might just pull a couple cards um, for the feminines from the tarot before moving on to what is coming up. So I do want to clarify that top row because that's all about that deceit and what it is that they're feeling. Let's see. Okay, and we have the High Priestess, the Four of Swords in reverse, and Death in reverse. Yeah, so whatever whatever it is that they were not able to put an end to in the past, whatever it is that was that they were not able to heal, even though it was something that um, their intuition was pushing them towards, it's like they've always had this deep knowing, but it's like now they're able to heal that and remove that um, deceit from their life. So it's going to be different for each of them. Whatever it is, there's a lot of healing that has happened because of some kind of deceit that has been happening for them. Again, they could be the ones who have been deceitful, but I'm getting that for a lot of them, it has to do with others around them and them allowing themselves to be influenced by that. And that has affected them in a way where it was also serving as a barrier to their connection to their feminine. So those cycles are being closed out here. Let's see the second row. Okay, and we have the Six of Swords and the Tower in Reverse. Yeah, exactly. So this is them moving towards wanting, like I said, resolving that conflict, resolving whatever it is that was creating tension between the two of you, um, at least from their end. It's like they're feeling more at peace in terms of whatever it was that felt like, you know, the two of you were not matching or that the two of you weren't seeing eye to eye or that the two of you just, you know, were arguing or whatever, whatever that is. They're feeling more at peace with whatever it is that has happened and feeling like they're ready to let that behavior go in the past. Um, again, with the tower being in reverse, I'm getting a very similar vibe with this that you know, they don't want these triggers anymore. They don't want to trigger you. They don't want to be triggered. They're wanting peace at the moment. Like I said, three of cups, you know, they're wanting things between the two of you to just be smooth. Okay, so for this bottom row, I did say I wanted to clarify that seven of pentacles in reverse specifically. So let's see, seven of pentacles in reverse. All right, and we have two kings, the king of wands and the king of swords. Okay, so they're not taking, you know, like big, big actions towards you currently, but with two kings being here, again, to me, this is all going back to that, um, um, to that power, the power card, like, and really having learned a lot through whatever this deceitful thing is that they went through, right? So because of that experience, it just feels like they really want to solidify certain certain lessons, okay, at least on a subconscious level, before taking steps forward, before planting the seeds. And I feel like once they do, they're going to be done with a lot of determinism and a lot of courage. So it feels more like, okay, thinking about it, right? Feeling this, feeling like they want to, but holding back in order to be in this king's energy when they do take the big, the big steps.
also want to see this Four of Pentacles here. Alright, we have the Two of Cups in Reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Yeah, they know that this is, it's like, this is fate, you know, that it's not something that they can actually control, right? The connection between the two of you, the love between the two of you. Um, and that's why, you know, like I said, it's like they're holding on tightly to this new feeling now that they cannot walk away from you, that this, they cannot detach from you completely and have you completely out of their lives. So the fact that they don't have this two of cups with you, which is why it's in reverse, you know, that's what they want to change. But at the same time, knowing that, you know, this connection is what it is. It cannot change, right? They just need to change the dynamic so that, well, if I can't change the connection and I can't change my emotions or how I feel about it, I cannot detach, you know, then <clears throat> something else needs to change in order to have that two of cups in their lives, right? That love. So, yeah, let's see for the feminines. Let's just get one row to see any other messages that want to come through for the feminines, and then we'll see what is coming up. have the chariot, the page of wands in reverse, and the nine of wands. Okay, you're, wow. Feminines are really moving forward here. Like, I don't even know if you realize it, because I feel like your your growth, your movement has happened so fast, like, like, or it's happening so fast that you, you might not even have the time to, like, even, like, realize it, because that's how fast it's moving. Um, and I feel like that's why the page of wands is in reverse, almost like, you know, you just can't even really like keep up with it. And I feel like, you know, that's, it's almost like for some of you, I feel like your lessons were like accelerated in some way. Like you were faced with certain challenges, like the one right after the other. And that just really accelerated your, your own growth. And I feel like, you know, you are for the most part overcoming these challenges or, you know, like learning the lesson, applying it. And so that's why you're moving ahead so quickly. And so I feel like that's actually also pulling the masculine in the same direction. So, yeah, it might still feel difficult, but know that you are really accelerating really, really quickly here. I mean, look at these cards, growth, shadow work, reinvention, like everything we had up here, everything I said before, and now this. So, yeah, just, just you know, keep that in mind when things feel tough. That's the message here. Keep that in mind. Um, you know, the tougher it is, the more you are actually accelerating. As long as you, um, you know, eventually find that balance. It's okay to feel out of balance, right? Once in a while, that's how we learn. But then always coming back to that balance between your emotions and what you're actually, you know, giving out in the 3D. All right, so let's see what is coming up in the next week or two for the masculines. Let's see, we have the Fool in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Page of Cups, and give me one second, I dropped that last card. And it is the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Okay, so again, okay, so very short time span here, right? Um, they're still not taking a huge, huge leap, okay, in the next week. However, they are continuing to move away from whatever is deceitful. So that's a, actually, that is a step. That is a step. I'm just getting that, you know, they just don't want to 
rush anything when it comes to their feminine. I feel like they there might be some communication for those of you who are not in communication. For others of you, I feel like it may have already, like you may have already had a recent interaction because I do see them being a lot more um, soft, as I said before. And with this Page of Cups, I do see their heart being open um, and being accepting of their emotions towards you. And not only that, of the fact that, you know, they want this commitment with you. They want this Ten of Pentacles with you. Um, and so I do feel like that's something that they're wanting to move towards and that they are moving towards, just not taking that huge, huge, like, you know, big leap forward in this next week coming up. All right. But again, moving away from deceitful energies in their lives that are serving as a barrier to their connection, to their emotions towards their feminine and whatever serving as a block for that Ten of Pentacles to happen between the masculine and the feminine. So yeah, it's a good, I feel like it's a good progression actually. Okay, so let's close this out with a final Oracle message if this resonated for you. And please do give me a like if it did. It does help me out a lot. Or leave me a comment and let me know. All right, now let's see. Any final messages we have between worlds? Yeah. Feels just about right, doesn't it? <laughs> like they're between worlds. Um, leaving that deceit in the past and moving towards truth. Leaving the darkness behind and moving towards the light, right? Having one foot back and then but taking that first step forward. So I feel like that's just really in line with what I've been saying all along. Not taking that huge step, like they're, you know, they're still in that progression of moving away from whatever it is that is dark here, whatever it is that is deceitful. Closing that out, as I said before. So yeah, that's just confirmation of that. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I thank you guys so, so much for watching and much love.